Tokyo, Sumo Grand Champion Harume Fuji announced he would retire on Wednesday to take responsibility for injuring a junior wrestler in an incident that has threatened to taint the image of Japan's national sport just as it was regaining popularity. The 33-year-old Mongolian-born Yakazuna, Grand Champion, had already apologized earlier this month after media reported he had beaten junior wrestler Takanoi Wa while drinking at a restaurant bar with other wrestlers. As Yokozuka, I feel responsible for injuring Takanoi Wa and so will retire from today, a stern-faced Harume Fuji told a news conference carried live by several Japanese broadcasters in Fukuoka, southern Japan, site of the most recent tournament. I apologize from my heart to the people, sumo fans, the Japan Sumo Association, to supporters of my stable, Jim, and my Oyakata, coach, and his wife for causing such trouble. Harume Fuji gave no details of the incident, still under investigation by police, which media reports said occurred when he got angry because the younger wrestler was checking his smartphone after being chastised for a bad attitude. I had heard that he was lacking in manners and civility and thought it was my duty as a senior wrestler to correct and teach him, Harume Fuji said. But I went too far, he said, adding that the incident did not occur because he had been drinking. The incident has highlighted Sumo's struggle to reform harsh conditions that can breed violence in its closed, hierarchical world, although some wrestlers say there have been improvements in the decade since a trainee was beaten to death. Sumo, recognizing its responsibility as the sport with the longest history in Japan, must stamp out violence so that the expectations of the people, including youth, are not again betrayed, Education Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi whose ministry oversees sports, said in a parliamentary committee meeting. Struggle with violence The head of an advisory body to the JSA, the Yakazuna Deliberation Council, had said this week the affair warranted extremely harsh punishment but did not issue a final decision because both the JSA and police were still investigating. There is almost no doubting that an act of violence was carried out, Masato Kitamura, chairman of the panel, told a news conference after a council meeting on Monday. The general feeling within the council is that a strict disciplinary measure is required, he added. A former Oyakata was sentenced to five years in prison in 2010 after a court found he had ordered wrestlers to beat 17-year-old trainee Takashi Sato, who had tried to run away, in 2007. Sato died from his injuries. Mongolian Yakazuna Asishorio who often found himself at odds with sumo authorities over his behavior, quit the sport that same year after a probe into reports of a drunken scuffle in Tokyo. Those incidents and increased competition from other sports eroded the popularity of sumo, in which giant wrestlers clad in silk loincloths seek to topple, throw, or push each other out of a raised ring. However, January's promotion of Japanese wrestler Casino Sato to grand champion, the first homegrown Yakazuna in 19 years, helped to rebuild the sport's fan base.